Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Camroom 5. Previously we were talking about the Hazes law and we came to the conclusion that reactions could take different pathway but as long as the reactants and products are same, we can equalize their enthalpy changes. We did a case study with ethanol. We talked about making ethanol from the elements and then combusting it. And another case was making the carbon dioxide and water directly. We always used to put direct and indirect methods equally. We did another practice with benzene where we were considering the formation and combustion of benzene equal to the combustion of carbon and hydrogen. That was a quick revision of the last class. Now in today's class, what are we going to do? So we are going to consider three most common enthalpy cycles. Both these cycles will involve two important enthalpies, which are delta HF under standard conditions and delta HC under standard conditions. The delta HF means enthalpy of formation at standard conditions and delta HC means enthalpy of combustion from under standard conditions basically. So let's have a look at the first and the most common enthalpy cycle. To do that we are using an example. For example, if you have the enthalpy of formation for butane. So for example, you are making butane which is C4H10 starting from carbon and hydrogen. Since we are using the elements in their standard state, I am writing carbon as solid and hydrogen as gas. We will balance it by writing 4 before the carbon and 5 before the hydrogen. This would be known as the standard enthalpy formation for butane. Now if you are going to combust the butane, it would produce 4 moles of carbon dioxide and obviously 5 moles water. So if you continue with the combustion of the same butane, you will call it standard enthalpy combustion for the butane and your products will be received as 4 mole carbon dioxide and 5 moles water. I'm writing the balanced moles also here. This is a two step indirect method because here you are making butane and then combusting it. Wouldn't it be easier if you were combusting the carbon and hydrogen directly? So that would have been the direct method. In the direct method you would have been combusting you would have been combusting so delta HC for carbon which would be four times and obviously the delta HC which is the standard enthalpy combustion for hydrogen five times because of their molar balancing. This is the first of the most common enthalpy cycles. The equation becomes four times the combustion enthalpy for carbon and five times the combustion enthalpy for hydrogen would have been equal to formation of butane, formation of butane and then combusting the same butane. So this is the most common enthalpy cycle which connects carbon combustion and hydrogen combustion with any other organic molecule. Another enthalpy cycle of the three most common ones also involves enthalpy for combustion. Let's take another example to understand the second cycle better. For example, you take ethanol and then you make ethanoic acid out of it. Now that is a very common reaction in organic chemistry. It's not combustion or formation. It is just a simple oxidation reaction. So I'm not naming it. I'm just calling it enthalpy of reaction. It's basically ethanol making ethanoic acid. 
and here ethanol is my reactant and obviously ethanoic acid is my product here after doing this step number one after making ethanoic acid you are combusting the ethanoic acid to produce carbon dioxide and water so you make carbon dioxide and water by the combustion of the ethanoic acid when you try to balance it there would be two moles carbon dioxide and two moles water you will call it standard enthalpy combustion for ethanoic acid so here two steps have been done you are doing a reaction to make ethanoic acid and then you are combusting the ethanoic acid wouldn't it be a direct step wouldn't it be a very simple method to directly combust the ethanol so here the direct step would have been combusting the ethanol directly and you would have called it standard enthalpy combustion for ethanol now you can see that combustion of ethanol was a direct step right but making ethanoic acid and then combusting would be indirect step so here this is step number one and step number two for the indirect method but combustion of ethanol is a direct step so that is a direct step if we tried writing the equation for this second kind of enthalpy cycle we would have said that combustion enthalpy for the ethanol would have been equal to the reaction enthalpy the reaction enthalpy which is basically making the acid and then the combustion enthalpy for the ethanoic acid so basically the reaction enthalpy and combusting the products ethanoic acid was a product here right so the reaction enthalpy and combustion of the product is equal to directly combusting the reactants so this is the second sort of enthalpy cycle so far we have done two kinds of enthalpy cycles the first involves combustion and formation the second involves reaction and combustion and now we are jumping towards the third enthalpy cycle the third enthalpy cycle also starts with a kind of reaction but it will involve elements let me give you an example let's take the similar reaction which was ethanol C2H6O was making ethanoic acid which was C2H4O2 it's not combustion it's not even formation so we just call it enthalpy of reaction there's no specific name for it we're going to be calling it enthalpy for reaction where you're converting ethanol into ethanoic acid now if we were to follow the formation values here the standard enthalpy formation for ethanol would have been ethanol made from pure elements the formation of ethanol would involve ethanol made from pure elements which includes carbon hydrogen and oxygen I'll balance it to write two moles carbon which is in the solid state three mole hydrogen in the gaseous state and half mole oxygen in the gaseous state you would have called it standard enthalpy formation for ethanol using the same elements you could make ethanoic acid also right so that would have been called standard enthalpy of formation for ethanoic acid don't forget to notice that ethanol is my reactant and ethanoic acid is my product in the first horizontal equation if you notice these two methods are indirect method because you're making ethanol and then you're converting the ethanol into the acid that would be indirect method but making the ethanoic acid would be a direct method I repeat making ethanol and then reacting ethanol to make the acid was a kind of indirect method but at the same time 
making the ethanoic acid directly would have been a direct method, right? That is why we can say that formation of ethanol and then obviously reacting which is the enthalpy for reaction to make acid so formation of ethanol and then reaction for the ethanol would have been directly equal to making the ethanoic acid directly so this leaves us with the third equation we can also write it like this that formation of the reactant you make the reactant so formation of reactant and then obviously doing the reaction formation of reactant and then doing the reaction is actually equal to formation of product so this gives us our third enthalpy cycle these are the three enthalpy cycles that are most common in your syllabus in the next video we are going to be doing some past paper questions I would really recommend you guys to watch this next video because the energy cycles you saw over here the first enthalpy cycle which involves combustion and formation the second cycle which involves combustion and reaction and the third cycle which involves formation and reaction will be dealt with in the next video stay tuned guys thanks